So Zoe, lovely to meet you. Now you've been filming Lalette Becoming a Teen campaign today. Yes. Um, everyone, well a lot of people call you the perfect role model. Are there a lot of pressures with that? Definitely. It's not something that I set out to do originally, but it's a nice type of pressure. It's not something that I wake up every day and I'm like, oh no, what am I going to do? It's a nice thing. And you've done a lot of videos, especially around body confidence as yeah. well. Um, one of them was like being called skinny. Mm -hmm. What kind of response did you get to that? Mostly just people who were so reassured that they weren't the only person that was going through the same thing and there was also a lot of people on the other side of the spectrum that was like I would never have thought of that before you'd mentioned it and yeah I think it's it, a lot of people are very quick to comment on people's size and body weight when really that's something that should probably be avoided. You've made it no secret that you kind of suffer from anxiety mm -hmm. and panic attacks things like that what kind of advice do you give out to people to, to combat that kind of thing? Um, I always say it's obviously not very nice. Um, talk about it first. If nobody knows what you're going through, it makes it a lot harder for you. So tell your close friends, family, let them know how you feel when you feel panicky, what they can do to help. But also I think try really hard to push yourself to do things because you start to feel a lot more confident once you've conquered something that you never thought you would do. You go on to do more um, and you know, panic attacks don't kill you, so never let it beat you. How have you been coping? Because, what, 4 million subscribers now on YouTube yeah. and over a million followers on Twitter, all this pressure, how do you kind of cope with it? Um, it sometimes it does make me go, wow, okay, that's a lot and it's not something that I'm used to um, and it can make me feel quite anxious but also I think I just, I enjoy it so much that it's not really something that I have to think about too much in a negative way. So, I know, I, I just, it's fun. It's too fun to worry. <laughs> and there's a lot of you who are doing these kind of vlogs now. There's a, yeah. I think you're called the Brick Crew, is that right? Something like that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, is there a lot of competition between you guys about who's going who's gonna to get the most views, who's the most popular? Uh, if anything, I would say it's completely the opposite. Like, there's no competition at all. We're all friends. We all film with each other and help promote each other. If someone's got something coming out or a launch, we're all backing them. Um, I think it's more just like friends like holding hands and going together really which is nice. Now I know that you have met One Direction obviously mm. a massive following with teenagers especially what was that like for you? On the day I think I stayed quite calm but afterwards when I realized what I'd just done I did have a little bit of a freak out moment and I was like how did I just do that but it was they were really nice guys and it was really fun yeah. Do you think they're good role models? Yeah, I think they are. There's a lot of people that look up to them and the things they do. And I think they've probably helped a lot of people. Next, for you, obviously, you, you're making it in the online world as mm -hmm. such. Would TV be something that you would look to move into? Mm, I don't know. Um, I think that online is where it's all happening right now. Um, but I don't know, just rolling with it. <laughs> so where can you see your channel kind of going now? Um... I always get asked this question, I never really have an answer because as, as it started as a hobby and it's sort of progressed to this point, I don't really know where it's going to progress to. It's all still so new and exciting and things literally pop up like within seconds and you never know what's going to happen. So I just, I hope it just continues to be as exciting and fun and yeah, just keep growing. And what would you say are your top five tips, say for being more confident and self-assured? Um, I would say to not care too much about any negativity that anyone could be giving you. Um, if you let things like that get to you, then you know it's never going to get you anywhere. Um, just be happy, have fun. Um, nobody's perfect. Everyone's different, but that's that's the great thing about it. Nobody's the same. And hmm, what else? Smile more. I think <laughs> that's a good one. That's a good one. How do you? Um deal obviously there are a lot of people who do look up to you how do you deal with negativity though because obviously going through life and especially being a teenager you yeah. do have to deal with people not being so nice to you so how do you deal with the negative side of things um at first it used to affect me more than it does now i think when you hear so much um obviously i get it through comments and things sometimes but you just sort of have to grow a bit of a thick skin about it and you just have to remember that those are not the people that you want to be focusing your attention on, it's the people that love what you're doing and that appreciate everything that you do and the people that you can help support that 
deserve all the attention. So I think it's just a matter of having to just brush it off and be like, no, not bothering. Now, obviously, so many people look up to you as a role model. Who would you say is your role model? Uh, this is a difficult one, which I also get asked quite a lot. Um, I don't ever really particularly have one role model. I always just think it's nice to have people around me that are happy and positive and just really supportive, and they're normally my role models. Good answer. Well, thank you very much, Zoe, and good thank luck you. with you.